Okay, so today I have a toy from Heroes of Goo Jitsu. This is called the Wolf Pain. This does have the crunch attack. As you can see here in the middle, it says try me, and if you press on it, you can hear the crunchy noise. So today I'm gonna unbox this toy and I'm gonna see how it looks. As you can see, we, we do have 13 toys that you could choose from here. So maybe in the future, I'll be able to buy the rest of them. But for today, I'm gonna be unboxing the Wolf one. All right, okay, there's a plastic peel right here. You just grab the toy, put this back. And as you can see, this is the toy itself. The head itself is plastic, so if you just tap on it, that is 100% plastic. Um, the rest of the whole entire body is all rubber, and it's very, very stretchy, as you can see there. And if you just, if you just, you know, smush it, you can hear the crunching noise. You see that? I never knew that this toy has water inside. So if I just squeeze it, you can see the water and the liquid inside of it. That's pretty cool. So if you're gonna squeeze this, try not to squeeze it too hard because if you poke a hole on this, there's gonna be liquid coming out of it. But inside of it, we do have little tiny bones all over it. There's, prob there's probably like hundreds, if not thousands of them inside. Um, this is, let me see here. Yeah, this, as you can see, it stretches pretty far. I'll say around 20, 20 to 24 inches or so. Uh, let me try the legs. The legs, you could stretch it around, I'll say like 15 inches. Let me see the body. Let me try to um, let me try to stretch the body out. Look at the face as I'm stretching it. Feel, it looks like it looks like it's feeling the stretch there. Look at the face, and yeah, the face. I mean, the whole body you could probably get around 12 to 15 inches in, in, in the stretch. The rubber does feel good, as you can see. Look at the back. Look at the back. It's like he has a. If you squeeze, you can see all the little tiny bones inside of there. So you can just poke at it. See how it lives? It just gets, a, it spreads back how it was over time. So if you just squeeze it, it gets back, it expands. Squeeze it one more time. As you can see, that's pretty odd. That's pretty cool. Um, the hands, it does have bones inside of it too. The feet also has a little tiny bones out on it inside of it. On um, the face, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to grab it by the face, cause. But you could, you could stretch it by the face, as you can see. That's the most I could do, and this is around, I'll say four inches or so, maybe four to five inches. You could stretch it from the face itself. Let me try to squeeze it a bit more so you guys could hear the crunch noise. See that? So this is how the wolf pain looks and sounds like if you get one of these. Um, it, does, it does have a nice quality to it as well as a nice rubber. And as you can see, you can stretch it out pretty far as well. So you won't, you won't have to worry about the quality of the rubber there. But for the most part, it is good quality. This toy did cost me around 10 to $12. I think the lion toy or the dragon one, I think those cost like 20 to $30 or so. So maybe I'll get them in the future. But so far, this is how the wolf paint looks like. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.